Hello everyone, and welcome to my Stem Cell Social Business Channel. The Stem Cell Foundation in Adelaide, South Australia, hosted a Zoom conference on the 6th of June 2020. People from 10 countries attended this conference, titled Making Malaysia Artificial Intelligence Set Reliance. This series of videos will showcase the speakers on this conference. <laughs> um, good morning and good afternoon to everyone. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. It's an honor to be uh, among the, um, the innovators and uh, creators and, and people helping uh, the community and, and think about this. Um, I'm very honored to be uh, here. Um, first of all, I would like to um, make a small correction. I'm um, a president of uh, the Jimmy Namge Engineering College, uh, the president of a college. Uh, we have 10 colleges within the university and we have a vice chancellor. And of course the chancellor is uh, His Majesty the King. And we have a vice chancellor, but uh, his office is in the capital Thimphu. Uh, that's more like a secretarial office. Ours is more, more of a dispersed uh, kind of uh, campus. The colleges are all across uh, the, the country, uh, Bhutan. So thank you, uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, to be part of this conference. And I would like to thank Sange also for inviting me. Um, I've al always been supportive of uh, such initiatives. Um, Sange came and told me about stem cell and, and the kind of works that uh, you all have been doing, uh, how UPM is uh, involved, how stem cell and E-Lab uh, are uh, involved. I think you're all looking at the uh, the, you know, from the humanitarian point of view, trying to help others, support others, others in times of need. And this is something that we as, as, as a college also truly believe in. Um, the exams, the university, the academic institutions are not only meant for awarding degrees. I think our main purpose is to help the community. I think the, the kind of knowledge that we give and teach uh, our students, our youngsters, is to help uh, one another in terms of need and also to make uh, sure that our skills and knowledge are helpful for others, not just for getting a salary and then uh, you know making our pockets bigger, but helping others. So you're doing a lot of good work. Um, we are also learning a lot. We are not a very highly established college yet. We are also in the same bandwagon, maybe trailing behind, but then we are full of energy. Uh, Whatever you're doing is great. And then we thought that this is something that we should also do it because truly the, the, uh, the inspiration that we draw is from our uh, monarchs, from our kings, the king and the fifth king. And the philosophy that we follow as a university is also GNH inspired education. And GNH, I'm sure you would have heard, is uh, gross national happiness. So more than looking at the GDP, we focus on gross national happiness. So at this time, uh, there's uh, unprecedented uh, implications because of the COVID has affected so many uh, people across the, the, the country, some severely, some may not be uh, severely, but then I think as an academic, an academic team, to um, help one another and then uh, together uh, uh, support in, in in every way possible so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and and then i wish the team uh, all the best and then we would uh, for any kind of support we would be willing to be a part of the team thank you so much thank, thank you thank you. you thank you Prahanju. yeah so uh, that was uh, professor aini is it uh, she probably want to greet uh, uh, professor andrew dupa and I just want to say thank you to Prof Andu for joining our conference today, Absolutely. and hope that we'll work, uh, we'll work, work together you know, in the future uh, very strongly working together. Thank you very much. We started the journey, and just by way of introduction, I heard that uh, uh, Professor Andrew Dupa is actually an engineer. Is that right? Can you uh, tell us a little bit more about your background? Uh, thank you. Um, Yes, uh, probably um, maybe more of a um, paper engineer uh, because I don't have uh, real uh, field uh, uh, engineering. Um, in fact, I started my high school uh, from uh, Don Bosco Technical School. So I went to a technical school, Tibet, um, my high school. Then I went on to do my 
a diploma in engineering uh, in electrical engineering and then uh, then after that i went to now it is called the national institute of technology but earlier it was called regional engineering college in india then after that i went to um, uh, i went for my masters in asian institute of technology in yeah. thailand mm -hmm. uh, in microelectronics wow. and then after that i went for my phd in canada uh, university of new brunswick in uh, power systems so as of now yes every um, opportunity that i get yes um, I, I try and get into engineering. Thank you. Thank you for that.